Hello, my astrology friends. This is Lada from astrolada.com. And today, my guest is Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Lada. Thanks for having me back. It's been a long time. I think you're one of the best astrologers I know because um, oh. yeah, uh, you, your specialty is so rare. You're, uh, it's like you look at the chart and you see where the problem is and how to fix it. How And you're amazing at remedies. And uh, you follow, you were a private student at Nikola Stojanovic and people basically who want a reading similar to Nikola Stojanovic find you. Uh, and actually you develop with him his remedies that he would give to people that he was famous for. Uh, you both were working on that. So today I'm excited that you're going to share with us a few uh, charts for different topics uh, connecting to remedies again. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, when we when we decided the date here, I looked, um, the one thing that Nicola always taught me is where's the moon? Always look at where the moon's going to be, and that's what your topic should be, right? You know, and the moon's in Libra, right? And so besides the fact that it's in Libra, where is it for me? And it's passing through my sixth house. And it reminded me of something that everybody asks when they get a reading with me is, did you do this yourself? Like the office. And I actually created this entire office as a remedy for myself. And so... um I figured that's going to be the perfect thing, you know, so I'll share my chart and I'll explain to you how I came about um, creating this remedy. So hold on one second. Oh, I have to make, this is a brilliant oh, office. I <laughs> definitely, <laughs> everyone asked, <laughs> that was the first thing I asked you as well when I saw uh, your office. Uh, can yeah. you show now? What do you think? Um, let's see here. Where it is? Hold on. I might need to stop my video for just a second so I can. Uh, okay. Can you see that? Yes, it's starting to come. Yes, perfect. Okay, perfect. So this is my birth chart. And so back in 2019, I was uh, moving to a new apartment and it was actually right before your retreat in Bulgaria, Lada, <laughs> where, I got to, where I got to meet you for the first time and meet Nicola for the first time in person after vi several videos and meetings and stuff that him and I did. And so when I was moving, I told Nicola, I said, what color should I paint my office? So, you know, he, of course, it was always a test for me, like, you know, where's your office at? It's the sixth house rules your office. It's where you work. Okay. And so um, then he says, you have Uranus in your first or in the sixth house, mm -hmm. um, the house cusp, right? Important. You know, it's 14 degrees in Libra. So of course he says, of course, you want to make it beautiful. 14 degrees is a course degree. So you want it to be beautiful and you want to paint it. Um, so he said, paint it blue like the sky and decorate it with constellations because Uranus rules constellations, the zodiacs, right? Yeah. So perfect. So I start painting the office. I painted the light blue. And as I'm getting to the top, I'm like, he said, like the sky. So I painted the whole ceiling. Everything was light blue. Oh. Um, and before I went to Bulgaria, I went to Egypt and I got some art there that was um, astrological, like my ascendant and my sun and moon. And I'm like, this is going to be perfect for, for the office, right? So I did that. And, um, you know, obviously, because I do have, uh, when you look at... Um, my sixth house ruler is Venus, which is in detriment in the fifth house. It's conjunct Mercury. Um, you know, it makes a square to Neptune. And so a lot of times it is, I will not get clear of what I'm doing. I will overanalyze. And, <laughs> you know, Neptune makes an opposition to Mars, which is my ascendant. It's right on my ascendant. I try to do multiple things at once and just kind of get sidetracked, right? So anyhow, I told Nicola, I'm like, I don't know, I bought a new house and I was going to renovate it. And I said, I think I need something different. 
I said, I, I looked at it a little bit deeper. I said, this is what I come up with. I told him I should paint my birth chart and it should be dark blue and gold like the night sky. And he was like, why? <laughs> you know, I said, well, uh, of course, you know, back to the sixth house again, it's you're painting something in Libra. Libra. The 14th is, you know, something beautiful, the constellations, but Uranus makes an opposition to Jupiter in my 12th house, which is something big. Oh. Venus being the ruler of my ascendant, okay, and it is conjunct Mercury, like I said, you know, Mercury is also my second ascendant ruler for my first house, right? Yeah. Um, it's in the fifth yeah, house. Mind. Yeah, it's in the fifth house of creativity, and I learned this from you, the ruler of the first in the fifth is a Dharma yoga, right? So to create something unique. Yeah. So... My Venus is at nine degrees, which is a Sagittarius degree, right? So Venus is me. It rules my chart. So it's me. Nine degrees is something big. So it's my chart. Conjunct Mercury, which is also me. So it's like, it's like solidifying. It's, it's confirming seven degrees to paint. So I should paint my birth chart. Now, the remedy, like I said, Venus is in detriment. It's in Virgo. It's also retrograde. So I do things over and over again, overanalyzing. So this will help on the remedy. Uh... Here's how I decided it should be dark blue and gold is that Uranus represents blue. So, but it's at the 29th degree, which is a Leo degree, which is gold. So it should oh, be yes. blue, blue and gold. But the opposition to Jupiter at 24 degrees is a Pisces degree, so it should be night. Now, being Jupiter is in Aries, Aries is about, you know, doing something new. It's creating something. So I had to create the stencils. These were going to be life-size constellations that I was doing so I had to learn a new skill which was very frustrating it was very challenging obviously in opposition to Uranus you know even Jupiter Jupiter does bring blessings but it's also a blessing in disguise he doesn't always give you what you want it's you know different blessings but Uranus always things are going to change it doesn't go exactly as planned so I had to create several different types of stencils Wow. Some of the constellations had to be redone several different times. Venus retrograde to do it over, to do it over. Oh, um, yes. And really, to, to me, it was a labor of love. You know, Venus is something you love. And I was really passionate about and I wasn't going to give up, you know. And I hand painted everything myself with stencils and all kinds of different techniques that I really kind of came up with by myself and had to learn a lot. So, um, <laughs> and you know, but like I had told Nicola, then you said we should always use the best aspect of your chart, especially if it's Jupiter. Well, if you look at my chart, my best aspect is a grand um, trine in fire. Fire, it's beautiful. That's what that was. Sun like. in the <laughs> sun in the fourth house, the moon in the seventh house. You know, to that Jupiter in the twelfth house, and so. Um, it also clarifies again why it should be night. I was born at night. Now, yeah. here's here's the crazy part. So um, I told, um, I'm looking at this, this, this bedroom. When I chose the room, I said, okay, this is going to be the room that I'm going to do. So I told my boyfriend, I said, can you put the direction, because I'm very direct, directionally challenged. I said, please put where north, east, west, south, Put them in each corner of the of the room so I can map out the constellations, right? I need to know where everything goes. Where does where does my rising go? Where, you know, where's the sun? Now the bedroom, it it's because it, it's an it's an old house. This bedroom, the light of the room was off-centered. And so they were very excited. Oh, we're gonna make that, we're gonna move the light and we're gonna make it centered. And I'm like, absolutely, you should do that. But then when I saw that Leo, I'm gonna, you know, Southern Leo is where it was sitting in the north, I said, the light 
is in the north. It's it's off center, but it's sitting in the north. This is my don't change it. My yeah. son is I'm at night. It's don't move the light. That's where my son is, you know, and and obviously as well too because if you look, you know, um, Scorpio is the second half of my sixth house, which um, when the sixth house is also going to describe the office, you know, it's beautiful. I want to paint it, but it's also you take a step to get into this office. You have to take one step down, so you know it's below. It's something below. Yeah. Uh-huh, so I was Scorpio. like, no, yeah, Scorpio, it's down below, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not a house as a basement, but it's something you step down in. So yeah. I said, okay, we're not moving the light. We're leaving it exactly as it is. Um, and so then what I did is I enhanced each area of the office. So that way it is um, like my desk sits in the North. Um, I face the north, which, you know, in feng shui, that's, you know, that's, they have a few different places where you should put your desk, but this was a good area for me to sit for me, you know, and to me, I feel like I'm energizing what Leo is, what the sun is, is to be successful and to be a boss, to be an owner and to, you know, strive and hit goals, right? Um, put it in the the, door. You should orient. So I put uh, when it's about business and success, you should check what uh, where the sun is. For example, if it's up in the chart, this is south. If mm-hmm. it's on the descendant, it's north. It's e. Uh, uh, sorry, west. East. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And then you know I'm a Reiki master, so I do energy healing as well. So my Scorpio and it, uh, which is my um, descendants, is where I have my. Uh, area where I do my energy healing yeah Scorpio energy healing yeah for my Scorpio yeah and then um and I'll I'll get up and I'll I'll see if I can show you around the office and then um oh actually I don't think that my video I see my video is not on sorry um sorry I didn't realize that my video wasn't on and then um and then my moon is in Sagittarius so in my Sagittarius area um, you know, I work with crystals and so I do a crystal grid. And so that area is where I do my crystal grids. And then um Capricorn obviously is crystals. The whole office is is infused with crystals, but I have my some bigger ones in the area there and where I store some of them. And then in if you see behind me in uh, Aquarius, which is my 10th house, um, I have unique things. So I have a unique like lamp of a lady and um, unique crystals that just aren't you don't, just don't typically find in a store. Um, and then it's also, you know, um, you know, it's my 10th house. So it's where I get my success and how I, you know, it's also, you know, also my ninth house is, you know, around there about learning. So I have a lot of books. I have my books there. And then um, my Pisces area is where I do my meditation. So I actually lay there. I have a mat I put out there and I do my meditations there. That would be Southern. That would be South direction Pisces, isn't it? Because it's. Uh, yeah. Well, the South is going to be the 10th house. And so Pisces is, is next for me. Uh, you know, east a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, getting there. And then, yeah, getting closer to the ascendant. And then, um, you know, my uh, on my ascendant on Taurus, because I'm Taurus rising, as you see there, 29 degrees. Um, I have the, uh, my birth chart is right there. And so er- every area is just energized and I just use all of it. Um, and and like I said, you know, typically people, people come to me like, give me a remedy get for this or that. I, I want to enhance the best part of your chart. So to me, this is the best part of my chart. It just happens that Uranus touched Jupiter and activated that for me. So what it's done for me is that when I'm in my office, you know, I have my other, I have plenty of other remedies, but you know, I always come in with it, set my intentions of, you know, what do I want to accomplish? I write down a list of what I need to be need to do. I'm constantly taking little breaks. 
but it keeps me on track. It keeps me organized, keeps me focused where before, like I said, I could be kind of like a squirrel brain where I'm just like, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, doing this. And things didn't always get accomplished the way it needed to be done. Jumping from thing to thing. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and I'm still very, because I have Mars in Gemini on my ascendance, I'm constantly learning, constantly doing different things. But this way, I'm able to like, you know, okay, well, I'm going to do this today. And I'm going to do, I'm going to learn about this. And I'm, you know, I'm just, it's just more of a structure. And it just decreases the energy because I'm using it in a positive way. I still have the Uranus, and I still understand that that Uranus is very prominent in my sixth house. And so I do constantly change and move things around. I move crystals here. I do a different crystal grid that will change the energy. I move different things around because Uranus is always going to want to change something, but I take control over that by making the steps myself and like, okay, I'm going to move this. I'm going to do that. Um, and little things like that makes it a little bit easier for me. And so that way, you know, it's just, and it's beautiful. Um, you know, it's to walk in here is, and to look at everything. And sometimes if I just need some inspiration, I'll just kind of turn, look at a constellation and just, you know, just look at it in awe. And it's, it's, I don't know. It's just beautiful. Well, well, it it's reminds fun. me of uh, the ancient people who, like the pyramids or whatever they would build, everything had a meaning. Is it facing mm -hmm. east, west? Every symbol had a meaning. I bet they were mm -hmm. doing it according to, for similar purposes, exactly like remedies, like uh, uh, yeah. everything was healing and influenced it. So I, I guess people actually, by the way, Michelle is offering two of her readings, which is... Um, the one of the reading is remedies the other one is changing uh, um she can give you the best name for your business according to your horoscope she's offering both at a very a very nice discount you can check the link below uh only for the next uh, couple of weeks if you want a personal reading with michelle and Rem focus on remedies and practical ideas uh that's incredible <laughs> i mean I, I love michelle's reading so Sorry to interrupt you, carry on. No, you're good. Um, do you want me to kind of, I, I can pull the laptop out and kind of zoom around and show you yes. a little bit because every, like even the ceiling is, um, and even the light, like the attention to detail, I wanted the light to look like the sun. Um, so give me one second. Let's see, I have to disconnect all my, okay, so. Here is, oh, like you can see the Leo. Can you see it good? I see it. It's beautiful. So that's facing uh, north. This yeah. is north. Yeah. Yep. And so that's the, the art that I got in Egypt, which was part of the inspiration as well, seeing how good the blue and, and the gold go together. Yes. And um, there's a lion there. <laughs> yeah. And you see Virgo up there. I uh, Libra. So I analyze the day with numerology cards every day. It's like my astrological weather. So I have that there. So sixth house. Yes. Here is. <laughs> uh, see, it's so hard to see the angle. Ah, well, it's top. Scorpio. Scorpio. That's where you do there. your healing. And this is where I do my healing. Oh, wow. There's my chakra boards. I got um, crystal skulls there. And then my, and then this is the, this is the, my window, which I found these blind, uh, these curtains that have stars. So the stars it come through at night and, you know, in the day, it looks pretty. I love and then this is my moon. This is Sagittarius. So if you can see. Oh! Oh, you put the moon there yeah <laughs> and, I have my, and I have the moon there and um I do pendulums as well for checking the chakras and then if you can see ah, sorry this is bad I should have switched 
a camera or something, but crystal grid there. Yeah. And then I'm here. I got a bunch of crystals. So That's your Capricorn, Capricorn area? Rocks, Capricorn. Capricorn? Yes. And then Aquarius, right? That's the mid -heaven. And of course, this is unique crystals. Uh -huh. That's a black amethyst, like an ombre with purple amethyst and some awards that I won that are in there along with other unique crystals. And then this is obviously unique and different. And then you've got, this, this is like Pisces and Was that Aries. the dream catcher? Was that the dream yes, in Pisces? in the Pisces area. <laughs> Yep. Yep. And then my birth chart. So here's Taurus. And then look at Perseus up mm. there with Medusa. It's probably and one you, of my favorite you painted ones. all of those things? You did it? I painted everything was paint, hand painted. Look at that. All oh my all god, gold. this is incredible. <laughs> and this is Gemini. Yes. And of course, hands and little mini crystal grids and um and then there's cancer. Serious. And that's the door, even down to the the handle on it. Uh oh, oh look my at my God. thing from Bulgaria. Oh. Um yeah. So Brilliant. as you can see here, the twins up there. And then you can see all on the top. Wow. Constellation. <laughs> yeah. So you managed to, so, it's so beautiful, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me, let me connect this all back together. And all again. personalized uh, and all, all personalized. To enhance your work, to enhance your energy, to tap into your potential. This is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, like I said, it also is utilizing the, um, let's see this thing come back together. Um, for my birth chart, you know, as far as, um, in the obviously sorry coming back together i think it's important to just enhancing you know like scorpio do my energy work in the scorpio area and and yeah. reading and having the you know books and things i'm studying so yeah it's um it's that's that's the that's the office. So that's that's how I came up with that. The wow. other thing that I wanted to share is um, I had got an email from a client who found found my website, and she used to be she was friends with Nicola, and he actually named um, or came up with a name for her business, and also had I think he even like dreamt up what the logo should look like. And his daughter actually created the logo and built the website um, oh, for her. <laughs> yeah. So she emailed me because now she was starting another business and she didn't have a name for it. She just says, she gives me this information about Nicola and then said, I would like you to come up with a name for my other business. And I'm like, wow, no pressure there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let me see what I can do um and so I had a really good time um analyzing it so let me share my screen yes yeah. and, and by the way this I is the other reading that Michelle is offering uh at the promotion uh the, the from 190 down to 139 dollars for the next two weeks if you're interested there is a link below in the description okay so that's her chart yeah, so this is her chart, and I got permission from her to, sh to share it. I didn't put her name. I just, you know, but it was the business analyst um, reading that I did. And so 
the business that she was going to be opening was going to be um, an accounting, you know, and she didn't, like I said, she didn't have a name picked out. So when I looked at it, the first thing I wanted to do was figure out how Nicola came up with the name that he came up with. Let's let's make sure I'm following what he would have said and what, what he would have done, right? Yeah. So, you know, her 10th house is, is her business, right? Mm -hmm. So the third house is going to be the name of the business. So we're going to count third from the 10th, which is going to be the 12th house. Okay. Her 12th house is um, 20 degrees um, cancer, right? Yeah, 20 degrees cancer. And so, you know, 20 degrees is, um, you know, and this is going to give us the energy of like, okay, what kind of business is it, right? What, what's the name going to be about? Um, the 20 degrees is a Scorpio degree and obviously cancer at home. And so the first um, name that he came up with was Loon Realty. Um, cancer, you know, the ruler is the moon. Um, and, you know, it's in the eighth house. And that's, you know, when you're helping someone find a home, right? So as a realtor, that's what it was. I'm like, okay, oh, makes sense. Real estate. It makes yeah, sense it makes, as well because it's cancer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's cancer. So, you know, it's real estate, you know, Scorpio is, you know, um, somebody's going to somebody else to, to get a loan. So obviously they want to purchase, they want to purchase a home. So I'm like, makes sense, right? And so, so for, for what I'm looking at now, which would be the second, business you know they're all going to have the same energy it's it's like you're looking at the seventh house for a relationship all marriages are going to look the same and they're going to have sort of the same energy from that so still going to look at the 12th house but to get a little extra information i knew i needed to go um the third from the 12th because now we're going to the second business okay oh so you and mean so the, so the name comes from the third house of anything the business is the 10th house so the, yep. the third from the 10th becomes the uh, yep. 12th. And now for the second business, you're going to get the third from the third. Yep. So the third from right. the 12th, sorry. <laughs> yes, third from the 12th, which is going to be the second house. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that'll give me the second business name, which is 10 degrees of Virgo. Well, we know 10 degrees or 10, the 10 is a Capricorn degree. So we know that's accounting, that's numbers. It's dealing with that. Virgo is analyzing. So we know that she's, this business is going to be about accounting, accounting and analyzing numbers. I'm like, okay, so where does the ruler go? The ruler is Mercury and it goes into the eighth house, right? Mm -hmm. So Mercury is in Pisces. Um, and we have sun and the moon in Aries there as well. So what is the eighth house? Obviously the eighth house is now being highlighted twice because we have the ruler of the 12th house, which is the third from the um, the 10th there and now we have the second ruler of the second business name in the eighth house so we know that's other people's money it's taxes finding things that are hidden so mercury is at 18 degrees of pisces the 18 degrees is a virgo degree which is to analyze and to find small something small mistakes pisces okay so mistakes to find missing pisces. Okay. Yep. So to find missing or to, to, to find small mistakes, small mistakes or the small is Virgo mistakes, Pisces. So it's about finding missing information. So I'm like, okay, there's a clue. Well, we have the sun at four degrees in Aries. So the sun is where you shine. Right. And so this person to me, you know, without this is, I get her information. I hadn't talked to her in person yet. I know that she's very confident in what she does. I know that she's very powerful in um, finding things, that she can find missing things fast. Why? The sun is there. It's in the eighth house and she can do it fast. The Aries is something very fast. So I knew she can find things fast. And she's also, because that four degrees is very, is a cancer. So she can intuitively know exactly where to go quickly. But then, then next, the next thing that we have there is the moon and the moon is in Aries um, or is at five degrees. So the moon is to be intuitive, the five degree, the best and fast at Aries finding mistakes. So the other thing is obviously, you know, a, a lot of things are kind of repetition to me when I'm, when I'm figuring out here. 
And so what I came up with is the accounting detective. Oh, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yeah, because it's in the eighth house. And what is it, the eighth house? It's it, finding something hidden, you know? And it was it was funny when I'm telling her, she was like, this is amazing. <laughs> like, I am the person who can find things fast. You know, I get in there, I find things that people didn't find because they're small, you know? Virgo is, is they, they will definitely overanalyze, but they, but they will get in there and they will find the little things that nobody else is looking for. And so that's what she was able to, that she was able to do it real, really fast looking in there. Um, and so, you know, there were some other names I had came up with, but at the end, she really liked this. And besides just coming up with a name, you know, one angle when I do a name analysis, typically when I do a name analysis or business analysis, somebody already has the name. So I'm just analyzing. I can yes. analyze the name Good. and tell you what the business is going to be about. I can tell you if it's been successful, not successful, what type of challenges. So this was definitely different because now I'm creating the name, yes. but now I have to make it a fortunate name. So it's ironic as I think about this now and I look at what the name resonates to, it resonates to a 14-5. The 14-5 is a media number. It's what? about resonates people, what? It's a me media number. I don't understand. 14-5? So when I analyze the name, the accounting detective in numerology, uh -huh. it resonates to a 14-5. Okay, okay. Yeah. So like I said, it's a media number. And with this number is very good at magnetizing people. It's about, you know, I mean, it's it's ironic that I say that in the sense of right now, I'm talking social media about the accounting detective. It resonates to this number, right? And so it's it's a magnetizing number. It's a, it's a shifty, it's a changing, it's a, it's a fortunate number. Um, so besides the name, I analyzed or we came up with different packages for her services. You know, it's important to like my readings, every single one of my reading names resonate to a fortunate name um, in numerology. Every single price that I do resonates to a fortunate number that will attract money that is going to attract a certain type of success and so I not only analyzed what packages and what type of things she was going to do I helped her come up with the pricing on each package as well to make sure that they were fortunate numbers that will bring wealth to her and so you know we just I, that's just part of everything that we did for it um and so yeah that was that was one big thing with her that, um, you know, coming up, coming up with it from scratch. Like typically, like I said, somebody comes for me for business analysis and I'm looking at, you know, their name and telling them a different way to tweak it, or they have a couple of different options and I'm telling them what's the best option for their business and what they're doing. And so this was total, totally different, but it was extremely fun to go through and come up with all these different packages and the pricing and that, in, and it all resonates with her. It, she was just like, you hit it perfect. It was, you know, and you can look up the website now. She's got a beautiful website. She created it, all the packages, and it's been doing very well for her. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I love how what you do is so practical. <laughs> it's not just, yeah, just simple. logical, lyrical. <laughs> it's yeah. simple, practical, on the point, and that's what astrology yeah. should be. And thank you so much, Absolutely. Michelle, for sharing with us your knowledge. And if anyone would like to connect with Michelle with the two promotions that she's doing or you can check any other readings that she's offering now is the time to do it she's ready <laughs> she's free Absolutely. and ready i'm putting a link in the description below and i'm looking forward for your next uh, uh interview again where you reveal to us some other uh secret gems and information uh, and readings yeah yeah, the next one will be on solar return. I have a lot of people asking about solar return. So I'll do a solar return remedy reading. So really we'll do that in a couple months. <laughs>
Thank you so much, Michelle. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you.